Peace in everyone, welcome to the Dragon Slumber Show. Today we are playing Hyper, Life, uh, Hyper Light Drifter. Uh, and usually I have all of the information about the game already set up and ready to go, but not on this game because this is a very impromptu uh, play. Uh, this is a game by Heart Machine, uh, released on March 21st, tw uh, 31st, 2016. It's available now on Steam for the price of $20. A link is in the description below. And this game was provided to me by my good friend, um, Frosty40, who wanted me to check out this game because we are working on uh, a game ourselves and we're... We're doing research, you know, when you play, when you make a game, it's important to do a lot of research into other games, uh, so that's exactly what we're, what we're gonna do. Um, you know what, I'll, I'll go on standard, I, I heard this game is really, really hard, but that's, that's fine. Apparently you cannot type with the keyboard. There we go. Diving into hyper light. So I know very little about this game. I know a lot of people gush about this game. I don't actually know all that much. Um, I'll be looking at movement and visual style as well. First question, is the composer the same as the guy who co who composed for Fez? There's definitely that feel here. That's a pretty cool intro. That's a pretty bloody... Wait, this is... This is Trigun. This is the, the opening to Trigun. So, I never played Out of This World, I believe it's called Another World, in the... Uh, in some parts of the world. Like, I've never been a big fan of those games. But this has that same kind of flat 3D style of those games. Like, I don't know, it, it resembles that, it reminds me of that. Everything reminds me of, uh, of Out of This World, really. Is that dog dead? What is the... Why does he have a... sound really varies in volume it gets loud and gets super soft it's it's tough to strike a balance I'm hoping that my volumes are gonna be fine all right let's go so whoa okay that's not good what okay I can dash whoops and I can die I can dash and I can slash. Oh, that's 
that's interesting. The camera is kind of locked on here. I guess to show the horizon. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to take note of everything. All of the, uh, the tricks used. Wow, that sound r really reminded me of uh, Mill Gear. Oh, I, I thought there was a a twing. All right, can I do this? Yes, I can. Oh, I'm not gonna like this game, will I? Hmm. Okay. So the first thing that I'm noticing is, well, w when you teleport, there is kind of a slowdown period, which I guess is probably used for combat, but it's still weird. It's still, um, unsatisfying. Okay, so the HUD disappears automatically, I guess they just didn't want, uh, yeah, I, mm. okay, yeah, I can see that. may not be the best shot. I wonder if I... Okay, I think it regenerates gradually? I guess the more I destroy stuff, it must regenerate my bullets. Um... Yeah. So these enemies are there to ensure that I always can shoot bullets. Yeah, I could see myself going back to this multiple times, like even in terms of, of uh, gameplay. But I'm looking at the uh, the art style as well. It's very square. I mean, it's meant to be square. Okay. Oh. Um, I know these are, oh, oh nice, these are pre-created environments, but uh, we're looking at procedurally generated environments for the game we're thinking about, and um, I'm also looking at this, looking at how these would be created procedurally. I 
like the stairs. These monsters are cool. The dial, peace in. Is that a wisp link style? A wisp? What do you mean a wisp? Okay. Wow. Two two sleep sequences back to back in two different areas. Am I going to be in another area next time? No, okay. Hey, he gave me a map. That's nice of him. Do I know where I was before? Oh, nice! Okay. I really, really like this. Mirrors are always very impressive. Yes. I guess I just agreed to a mission. Um, I guess it is kind of like Navi, but not that much. Whoops. At any time, huh? Yeah, this has such a Fez sound style. Also, I can't use my sword. Also, uh uh. Okay. Was that Boba Fett? It is! Or Red Skull? This room is lagging. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Alright, so this is the way to upgrade. And I don't have... I don't know, this. Well, I don't have any upgrade things, so I guess I can't. This game really has as much or as little story as you want it to have. I like this, I like these broken to buildings. I 
like these these monsters as well. Covered in moss. Okay, so, pro tip, when you grab a healing item, it does not heal you. And if you grab one and you're already full, it does not heal you. Is this where I was before? This guy. Okay. Thank you for telling me that I need to go up. I don't know if I'm... I feel like I, I'm... I know this game is supposed to be hard, so I feel like... I don't know if I'm supposed to not take those things. And, um, wait until a better time. Also, this has a case of the Fall Cry 2 with the malaria. I thought I lost all my health after doing that. Destroy stuff, regain bullets. So I need a key to go here. <laughs> it's fun to be badass with a gun. Alright. I mean, vistas are always nice. Oh, there's a there's a monster trying to climb. This is a case of the um, Attack on Titan. It's like the aftermath of Attack on, on Titan. this I like this broken staircase and there's a few people on this that side this has a lot of of uh, world building um, environmental world building Seems to be a thing here, but there isn't. Oh, there we go. shopkeeper right the birds fire more fire there is a lot of art in this game
and um, having not having no dialogue makes it makes it a lot more international, a lot easier to uh, to translate. But boy, art! That's a lot of art. I was looking at this, which is the shadow of the, the thing in the, on the side. Really trying to pay attention to details here. Boba Fett! Oh, that's an interesting way of presenting that. Okay. So I guess... I need to get... All of these shards. Okay. Huh. Peace and Drew, how are you today? It's going to become a lot more tough. That's far it is manageable at least. I never know. I never know if a game is... Oh. That's nice. If a game is going to be manageable or not in terms of difficulty. fairly fast as well. Did I say good evening? I, uh, I might have stumbled into the right answer there. Yay, one of four of something. I like these subtle patches on the, the ground, like these things, the traps. The use of camera is really interesting because it kind of prevents you from seeing beyond what what you um, normally would. Okay.
Sadly, violence may be my only answer. I like this gun. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I am leaving a lot of death behind me. I like the fact that the bodies stay as well. And this is going to be a teleport. So they, they outright tell me that I can go back to here um, from the map. I wonder if they tell me that because they didn't figure out how to say it with pictures. It seems to really want to, to say everything visually. Really feels like it, there's a gajillion of those things too, uh, of those things to discover, those kind of patterns and the likes. A picture of this, just in case I need the information. And this. Okay. Okay then. Oh, that's interesting. So I got I got a diamond. So if I get three, I guess I'll be able to open that bottom door, and then later on, I'll be able to uh, open more and more stuff. All right. Um, when we come back, we're gonna play some more Hyperlight Drifter. It's starting off pretty well, pretty fun. I I can see. Uh, why people are interested in that? I like the I like the line that he leaves behind. All right, more Hyperlight Drifter after this. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out some games I've made, like Hyperlight Core. All right, until next time, peace out.